Welcome back, everyone. Are you ready for a good gossip? So this article was all about uh, reality dating shows, uh, and it started off with the currently extremely popular mm. The Golden Bachelor, uh, which is a sort of the, the latest incarnation of a long-running show called The Bachelor. Um, and this, this season is focused on older love, <laughs> which, which seems to have captured <coughs> the hearts of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something mm -hmm. perhaps extra sweet about people finding love later in life or trying to find love later in life. Um, there's hope for everyone, you know, it's mm -hmm. never too late. Um, anyway, so a lot of people have been really into that show, but it's definitely not as famous as Love is Blind. That's mm -hmm. a much bigger show. Mm -hmm. But uh, the mm -hmm. Love is Blind creators uh, have come under fire uh, mm -hmm. in recent years, um, mainly uh, starting off with a court case brought by one of their season two cast mm -hmm. members, Jeremy. He ended up suing the producers of the show for abusive work mm -hmm. conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned things like they were expected to film 20 mm -hmm. hours a day, seven days a week. They were not given enough food. Mm -hmm. They were consistently encouraged to drink alcohol mm -hmm. to um, make them look more <laughs> foolish mm -hmm. and make worse decisions on the show. Um, he said uh, that uh, yeah. if by any working yeah. standards, this is sort of inhumane, mm -hmm. abusive treatment of the cast members. Um, also, there was another lady, uh, I can't remember what season she was from, but mm. um, she spent her time on the show, did her work, but was then deleted from the show mm. uh, because she, uh, the partner that she went on mm. with um, was showing a lot of abusive mm. traits. Um, mm. uh, they, th I guess they thought this was not a good thing to show on TV, mm. it was so um, negative. Um, but uh, she complained, well, if you thought my husband was behaving abusively, why didn't you intervene? Why mm. didn't you stop? Why did you let me continue this entire mm. filming schedule mm. being abused and you knew it? Mm. So that was another huge controversy, which kind of took the shine off the Love is Blind franchise, I guess. And uh, maybe it's another reason. The Golden <laughs> Bachelor is way more popular mm. uh, right mm. now. Um, so yes, uh, I think reality TV as a genre has been going for so long now. We're all a little bit um, disillusioned, shall we say, about sure. what really goes on on mm. these shows. Um, we're less likely to believe in the reality of the show. We're less likely to um, uh, be able to sort of immerse ourselves in the drama and enjoy mm. it without worrying about the dangers that might be happening behind mm. the scenes. So I guess, but that speaks of reality TV <laughs> in general. The real reality. <laughs> yes. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely, mm always have watched these shows in horror, I think. Mm -hmm. And I cannot imagine how awful it must be to go on them. And yet there are plenty of people out there who yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So John, would you oh. ever go on a reality dating show? Like, now obviously not very, very happy relationship right now. But let's say, you know, men in black, little flasher happen. Mm -hmm. We all forget each other and I feel like a newborn baby and I get raised in a whole different family. Um, I, would I go on a reality date? Probably not. It sounds stressful. And even if it was 100% real, like even if this was, hey, we're just gonna put cameras up, you go into this place with 15 different people and try to date each other, I'd be like, how about I just not do that and oh. I just go back home, bye guys. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, but you get $400,000. I go, oh, yeah, you're all right, let's go ahead and date a couple people. <laughs> well, yeah. mm -hmm. um, no, no, but in reality, I, not reality, I definitely would not, no. almost 100%. It would have to be a lot of money. Yeah. And even then I wouldn't, I'd be doing it for the money, not for the love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but then I think a lot of people don't do it for the love. I think a lot of people fame. do it for the exposure, for the yeah. fame, for the chance to be on camera or launch other business yeah. ventures. Like, by the way, I have an OnlyFans that you can look at, <laughs> can check out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So coming back to uh, the case of the female contestant mm -hmm. whose scenes were deleted mm -hmm. from uh, mm -hmm. Love is Blind, what do you think about that? How should reality TV production teams intervene if they suspect you know, mm. abuse or any kind of yeah. harmful behavior between contestants? Well, 
I, I feel like it is a workplace in the end because they are being paid mm -hmm. um, and it is a place that is being designed and controlled by the production company so it has to also be kept safe by the production company um, I think the best way to handle it would be just do the normal thing which is either call the police or uh, stop the environment which is happening you know if your show is creating an environment where it's happening let's say married to an abusive husband then stop filming the producers will say hey you guys need to like split apart or like we're gonna call the police this is abusive you, you can't be doing this um, and if the people decide to stay together then you know wash your hands clean whatever but they should have done something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just stop production and call police done mm -hmm. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I think mm -hmm. if you saw it in the workplace, yeah, you wouldn't just turn a blind eye, yeah. especially if it was more than once, yeah. more than one little tiny thing. Mm -hmm. You'd have to do something. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be like, oh, this is good TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just seems what they did. I'm sure it seems like exploitation, cruelty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Unnecessary. Yeah, it's like the nature documentaries where you're watching the animal die. Oh, and you're yeah. just like, I'm just gonna have to film. I couldn't I could never do that. Mm. I wanted to be like a nature documentarian or something and then it's like I can't watch that. Mm -hmm. If they're having a happy time, I'm there. Mm -hmm. If someone's not like, get away from each other. Oh, save oh, the gazelle. Save the gazelle, yes. Yeah. Kill me instead. <laughs> oh yeah. wow, you're more noble than me. Oh gosh. Oh, eat the gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh. Okay, so, well, <laughs> uh -huh. you, I have disillusioned you of my generosity. <laughs> um, There's a line. <laughs> while you mull over mm -hmm. your uh, personal choices and opinions on that, mm -hmm. uh, jump down to the vocabulary section, you know, take a look, see if you could use any of these vocabularies, mm -hmm. va vocabulary words, on your next date, oh. perhaps. Impress them with your fantastic English. Yes. <laughs> and uh, then come back. Uh, mm -hmm. and join us in the next episode. Mm -hmm. See you then. Dupe. Dupe. Multifaceted. Multifaceted. Disillusionment. Disillusionment. Confiscate. Confiscate. Abusive. Abusive.